Hi, I'm going to play something for you and uh, see what you think about this. It's a Muslim being interviewed by some guy, I think it's Sweden, and the title is Mullah, Krek uh, Mullah Krekar in Norway gives Chilene an honest interview about Islam in the West. Okay, and the guy, here he is, he asks him the question, for someone who burns the Quran, the punishment according to Islam is death. Is that correct? Now, let's see what's what's the Muslims say. He says, if you burn the Quran, which is an insult, then the answer is clearly yes. He says, you sat in prison for threatening uh, the prime minister. Now one of them s says that you have threatened him again. Is that correct? No, that is not correct. You can go the way of the courts and try to prove that. But the man who has burned the Quran, he says, but the man who burns the Quran, would it be right that he lose his life even though he lives in Norway? I know absolutely that he has not committed a criminal offense where the punishment is death. What? I gotta read that again. He says, I know absolutely that he has, oh, I know absolutely that he has committed a criminal offense where the punishment is death. Uh-huh. He forgot his takia. Well, we'll continue on here. A uh, takia is a uh, line for Allah. The responsibility of carrying out the punishment is on the Umna, our Muslim Brotherhood, Umna, Umna, Umna. Regardless if he lives in Norway or if he is Barack Obama, I am not myself threatening the person. What did he say? I'm not threatening that person. He said, you must kill. What? I am not myself threatening that person. I am telling you what is stated in the law. I have told you uh, what is in the Quran and the Hadith. I have pointed out at one specific person said, yeah, I've got to play that one more time. He said, well, anyway, isn't that creepy? It's so creepy. But guess what I found? Guess what I found? I'm going to show you something. Okay, here's a, a sewer drain, and it was plugged. It was all plugged up, and you know why it was plugged up? Guess what these things are? Take a guess what those are. Those are Korans. Now, were they dumped in a non-Muslim country or a Muslim country? Pulling Quran desecrated in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia. In other words, Muslims are starting to go beyond memorizing the Quran to studying the Quran. They're starting to find out what the Quran really says. Like, and what it infers. Saying things like uh, the sun running to a resting place and setting in a money spring that the stars in the lowest heaven, Earth's are, uh, lowest sky, Earth's orbit, are, are actually Earth's uh, atmosphere, are stars that uh, chase Satan away. That's where the stars are located. Or that the earth is spread out flat like a carpet. Now you find out, according to Muhammad, is on the back of a giant fish called Nun. And that an eclipse occurs when the sun falls out of its chariot, according to Muhammad. Or that uh, the Quran says the, the, it, that it confirms the before scriptures, the Bible, that all Muslims believe be corrupted. And I'm wondering if it's that's the reason why many Korans in this sewer in Saudi Arabia of all places and it's not just Saudi Arabia but also Pakistan that they've been throwing the Quran into the sewer so 
I wonder what that Muslim would think of when he says that you have to be killed if you desecrate a Quran. I wonder what he'd think about that. Bye.